Kenne bist du hier? Ja, besser. Ich danke Ihnen sehr für das Interesse zu Ihnen. Ich habe es gesagt, es ist sehr wichtig, dass wir uns in der Reformierung und in der Reformierung der Ukraine stellen. Ich möchte Ihnen das Wort an den Minister der Ukraine, Herr Alexander Petrschwitz. А ще дуже важливий технічний момент. Нас будуть спікери говорити англійською також мовою. Тому для синхронного перекладу, будь ласка, канал номер один включіть, якщо вам буде потрібен переклад. Як з російською, українською, англійською, так і навпаки. Ліс. Good morning. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being part of this very, very important gathering for us. Um, I would like to thank WHO and uh, the Swiss Development Agency for uh, organizing this forum. A very important one and timely one for Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for Thanks, Alexander, for, for challenges. Why do you language for That is. Um, okay, well, let, let me start again. All over. Uh, I would like to welcome you all. This is a very, very important gathering for us. Um, and thank you for participating and thanks to WHO and CDC and the Swiss Development uh, Agency for organizing this. Um, I'm very happy to have you all here for you know, trying to figure out where are we going to move on with Ukraine and Ukrainian health care system. The policy dialogue that we are going to be discussing today is an important step forward. Uh, I'm very happy to have uh, next to me head of the uh, Parliamentary Committee on Health Issues because without the Parliament and without Rada, we are not going to move uh, anywhere. And I think a few days ago we, we have uh, agreed that we are going to forget about what has happened last year and we're going to move forward to for better health and better, better, better care for the Ukrainian people. <coughs> I would like to underline the importance of WHO um, support to Ukraine in many ways and many directions. I would like to thank Rita Jacob for, for uh, her input in, and her team's input in uh, designing and uh, helping us shape better the strategy for the Ukrainian health reform. Uh, and that was uh, something very, very important for us. And, you know, this year, I think, uh, Ukraine will make a very big step forward in changing what we all want to do in the country in making health more um, accessible, more um, affordable, and a lot more um, close to people that they really deserve. So, I don't like long opening speeches. I grew up in the Soviet Union and remember how, how long they, they, the party leaders used to speak. So, welcome you all. Thank you very much for being here. And um, I really hope that this uh, gathering today will kind of uh, something really practical outcomes that will benefit the people of Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you very much, Alexander. I would like to give the word to Olsi Vyanovoli, Vromolec. Dear friends, dear colleagues, dear uh, guests from all over the world and of course from Ukraine, uh, you're very welcome to be here and I'm uh, also very thankful to all the organizers who um, actually took their time and energy and money to bring uh, all of you together today. We all understand that we don't have too much time um, to be lazy and not to be active. We also understand that re Ukraine right now is in war. And 
We also understand, and I hope uh, the Ministry of Health and all of you accept that Ukraine is not Russia, also Ukraine is not Georgia. So we will not be following Georgia model, we will be creating our own Ukrainian model with a state healthcare. And all the conflict which was last year, I actually don't know who was the ideologist of the conflict where Ministry of Health and the Prime Minister were trying to change the status of all the state hospitals to commercial organizations. Uh, I hope it's closed and we will be developing private medicine and state medicine because in that country, which could have war any time and terroristic acts, we should base our future model of medicine on the state medicine. And we have to create the state insurance, medical health care, which will be helping and supporting people. And uh, the health care committee is open to uh, common work with the Ministry of Health and we will be ready to support Ukrainian people. And our main goal is to increase not only the life term of Ukrainians, which is the shortest in Europe, of course you know it, but in the east of our country, Ukrainian men have in average lived 57 years. So our goal is to support Ukrainian people, not only with the health care, good quality health care, but to, with a good eco ecological environment and of course with increasing of our economics. Because if economics of Ukraine will not be working, if business will have no possibility to increase and to support the budget, uh, if our oligarchs will not be paying taxes, if our middle class will not have possibility to uh, develop and to increase their life level, the health care will have no possibility to develop. So the main goal of Parliament for this year is to increase the Ukrainian economics so this economics can support all the changes, all the programs which will support the Ministry of Health doing their job every day. Thank you. Thank you. Дозвольте мені дати слово Дмитру Шимківу, заступнику голови адміністрації президента України і секретарю Національної ради реформ. Будь ласка. Леніс і джентльмен, вітаю. Перш за все, це вітаю бути тут, і це вітаю бачити фокус на одну з дуже критичних реформ агенда для України. Реформ, хелскій реформ, це завжди на агенду національного реформ канцлу. It is one of the reform, one of the three reforms uh, on the highest expectation from the social by people through the polls, through the conversation, because health is something that every all of us in this audience care, uh, starting from the kids going to the elderly people, because it matters to everyone. But it's also one of the most complex reforms to be done. Just let's look at it from the technical standpoint. It's different protocols. It's availability of new technology, it's research, it's analytics, it's a lot of new things that actually has and is changing the landscape of the healthcare globally, and Ukraine is not an exception because we are in the global world. There's many new challenges that the world is facing, and Ukraine needs to be prepared for these challenges. It's also organizational issues which needs to be addressed by the reform. Is the structure of the hospital, the structure of the governance, the form of the governments, the financials of the of the management of the institution, um, the the models for financing uh, healthcare. All these things is a, is a significant topic that needs to be answered, and definitely and probably one of the top one is a political agenda around the healthcare reform. And Ukraine is not unique. Every country in the world has been facing the challenge of identify the political leadership behind healthcare reform. In many countries it's even carrying the name of the leaders as Obamacare, for example. And uh, if you go by country by country, even in the slang and very often non in non-official statements, you could see that there is a strong political leadership because healthcare touching not just one industry, it's touching a commonwealth of industries across 
the whole economics and ties, economic ties and economic structures of country and beyond the country. So last year, uh, even though we had the healthcare reform in the red zone, we have some progress and we need to recognize and this has been done because of cooperation, political cooperation between parliament, between cabinet of ministers, between president and civil society. This is a very, very important element. When we have a unity and a very clear understanding how and what we would like to achieve, and there is a compromise on the table, there has always been the ability to achieve. The procurement of the medicine through international organization is a good example. Even though there is a lot of fight and non-agreements, we've been able to reach the agreement. Uh, Parliament passed the law with the amazing swiftness, and the Ministry was working hard to make it done. And we already are reporting savings up to 60% just in oncology uh, medicine. And there is more to go. There is challenges. We all understand there will be challenges. There is nothing in this world done without the challenges. But the commitment of unity of different branches and unity between difficult political leadership is very critical to achieve the success of any reform. Otherwise, we will be ending in the clashes and arguments and so on. That's why unity and compromise and identifying things that are needed for the state, for the future of the state, is paramount. The future is bright, and I strongly believe that Ukraine, with its capacity of doctors, scientists, managers, hospitals, people, can overcome everything. The civil society is a vibrant element of this. The commitment of the parliament to put it higher agenda with the help of the committee is very high. The president identify healthcare one of the top priority in his addressing. So I believe that this is this meeting is very important. Having a team that is 100% dedicated within the ministry, working with the all stakeholders in the healthcare system, 24 by 7 is element is very critical and very important. And that's why I want to thank you, every donor and every supporter, and every person who is committing their time to make this happen. Thank you, and good luck. Thank you, Dmitro. Дуже дякую. Я хочу сказати про те, що ми сьогодні будемо говорити про про старт проекту дуже важливого. Це який називається сприяння ефективному врядуванню в системі охорони здоров'я, який якраз направлений на те щоб підсилити процес реформування та його прискорити, і міністерство вже багато чого зробило, але зрозуміло, без допомоги міжнародних партнерів, без допомоги донорів, це було б неможливо і, напевно, надалі буде також досить складно робити. Тому з великою вдячністю, приємністю хочу передати слово пану Холі Таошу, директору швейцарського бюро співробітництва, при фінансуванні якого, в принципі, можливий цей проект. Будь ласка. Пліс. Окей. Thank you. Uh, it's also my pleasure to, to welcome you all. Uh, dear Minister Ritashvili, I will try to be brief uh, in honor also of your words. This is not a long speech that I want to deliver. I'm very impressed by uh, the number of guests that we have here uh, around us and I'm, I'm pleased to see uh, so many faces. I think it all shows the interest uh, that everyone shares for this program. I would, I would like to stress that um, this program is not sort of a um, a, a, it's maybe a unique moment, but it's not been developed by a unique institution. It's really a collaborative effort. I think that's something we really have to keep in mind for this whole reform to, to work. Uh, it, this program was developed clearly jointly with the Ministry of Health, with WHO. We have our inputs also in this, uh, in this uh, program. So uh, I just wanted to let you know a bit Swiss support to Ukraine. Uh, you might know it goes into uh, local self-governance that would try also to make some linkages, hopefully, possibly with the health domain. Um, we are working with energy efficiency uh, in a number of cities, economic development, more in agriculture is one of our domains, and of course, health. This is, this is the subject of today. Here, I think uh, you should know that for us, the importance is to support the reform and the reform drive. Again, that's why I think this project is timely, because I think uh, the, the drive is here. And uh, this should really help the population at large, because this is our main intention. Uh, in our case, we try to support uh, primary care services. Uh, that's our first goal. Uh, we also try to look at, uh, so as to respond also to conflict-related uh, needs, uh, that's also very important to us. 
um, and we want to raise community awareness on especially non-communicable diseases um, to promote healthier lifestyles, also something we do together with WHO. Now, uh, of course, uh, healthcare is not only hospitals, um, uh, health is, is also education, it's knowledge. Um, there are things that might be very large uh, in terms of financing, health, etc., governance, uh, not to mention even road safety, a good diet, uh, food safety, so many issues that are around health. I think managing those complexities uh, is just important to remember that they take a lot of time, they take a lot of energy, uh, they take a lot of skills. And uh, I think in times of reform, probably all of that even more so. And I think we also want to acknowledge uh, this energy that is uh, especially in the health uh, sector today. And I uh, think uh, we really hope that this uh, program can support uh, this drive to go forward. So I don't want to go into the different uh, topics uh, of support uh, of this program because you will hear more about that uh, in a minute. But I just want to you know, bring back to, to you that uh, we stand behind you as a donor and we also hope that the whole donor community, and I think quite a number are represented here today, uh, we will all you know, go in that same direction of helping uh, the government to move on its reform to improve the governance of the health sector. I think that will sh surely move us forward and should only uh, not only happen in Kiev, but everywhere in the country. That's my message. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tausch. And I would like to give the floor to the President of the Republic of Ukraine, Mr. Yuji Magliorini, because the Society of Organization of Health Care will be technically supporting this project. So I give the floor Dear Minister, Member of Parliament and uh, distinguished colleagues, I'm very honored to be here today as a representative of the WHO country office in Kiev, Sorry, even if on temporary base, and at the same time representing the regional office in Europe uh, in Copenhagen. Let me first of all to convey the best greetings and congratulations for these important steps to the Minister of Health of uh, Ukraine from the Regional Director, Madame Tudjana Yakov. The Regional Director and all the European offices are extremely committed uh, to support uh, this project in Ukraine and all the important reforms you are taking in the health sector in this year that hopefully are opening a new era for the country. WHO is a technical agency with a specific leadership within the United Nations, with features that I believe are very important for the project like this one that we are launching today. WHO can provide convening power, coordination mechanism, networking uh, and possibilities of high level expertise. I believe that these features will be crucial to support the Ministry of Health in their care reform, to support the coordination mechanism about among the partners, and to provide technical expertise that can bring a scientific evidence to the steps that we need to take in this journey. We want a care reform which improves the health status of the population assure high quality services and accessible to all the population, fight inequities and provide social protection to the families. Disease must not be the last burden which ruin families. We strongly believe that WHO can have a, a crucial supporting role to the Ministry of Health in promoting these values and not promoting them in a strategic way but based on scientific and a scientific evidence-based approach. Of course, the WHO is not a large donor, and we could not be here today without the generous contribution from the Swiss Confederation, that as we had before, is committed to support the project and the public health approach in this country. And I want to publicly thank the Swiss Confederation for this role as a donor. And I want to, of course, uh, conclude in thanking the Ministry of Health for their trust in WHO. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I want to congratulate the Minister 
and the government of Ukraine for this uh, courageous steps that they are taking these days, and to assure the minister that we are all here to support you. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Mr. Vici. Дуже дякую вам за відкриття нашої події, і в нас є пару хвилин для питань відповідей. We have the time for Q&A session, short. If you have any questions to the people who sit here, you can ask. Якщо у вас є запитання, то пару місців, то людей, які відкривали подію, ви можете задавати. Окей.